Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Benny, a true nerd, and welcome to Basing Stoke. Basing Stoke is basically a sort of action, stealth, roguelike sort of thing. I like this sort of thing. Basically, the way the game goes is you're trying to escape from the nightmarish horror of Basing Stoke, and while you're doing it, there's some form of zombie apocalypse. So, luckily, your plans don't have to change very much. So, welcome to Omnicorp the Job Interview. I'm Ted here. <laughs> I like my protagonist, he's rather good. Right, please take a visitor pass. I will gladly take one of those. And any direction? Uh, take the lift, third floor. Ooh, and there's proper line of sight and whatever as well. Marvellous. Probably don't go to the restricted area just yet, though. Uh, never mind, I think we have to cut past all of this area anyway, and... Ooh. Suddenly everything gets a bit sinister. Right, I'm guessing the apocalypse just happened because the lighting's just got a bit on the sinister side. Oh yeah, I think I've accidentally come to the wrong floor and the test chambers and whatever, but screw going backwards, I guess we just move on at this point. Test labs, test labs, biohazard. Right, and all of a sudden it's some form of terrifying nightmarish experiment that's going wrong. Well, that's a good starting point. Except that guy doesn't seem surprised to be seeing me, so... This is quite possibly just how they expect people to walk to the job interview, so okay. I'm just being impressed with all of this then, gotcha. Do, 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 do. I feel like I must have... Okay, hang on. Contamination detected. Hmm, mild problem perhaps. Oh yeah, 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 Think things are definitely going to hell. And now it's a little bit on the, um... Ooh, now I'm trapped in the bathroom. And now the alien obelisk has turned everyone into a necromorph. Right, gotcha. Luckily, I was safe because I was hiding in the toilet. And now, yeah. Yeah, broadly, we should have expected that. You know what? I like a game that skips straight to the bit where everything explodes and you start murdering everything. So, um... Can I actually do the interview now? I brought, like, two copies of my CV and I prepared a question to ask at the end. Hello? Right, so, everybody's dead. Good, 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 good. Uh, slight problem. I don't actually have any weapons right now. And did I just set myself on fire? Possibly I did. I've got a visitor pass. Can't actually use that. And... Probably need to find myself a weapon. Ooh, emergency exit. Yes. This strikes me as... Ooh, lighting though. Right, I've got a torch. So now, I can have my torch off or on, so I can see what's going on a bit better, but presumably, yeah, that kind of screws over my stealthiness. Good, good that I've got a torch now, lovely. And someone yells help. Ah, we must evacuate. Are you the wrong side of- Good, you're the other side of some glass. Fine. So some of the dead have come back as zombies. That's all lovely. Uh, hopefully there's not a door that lets you get to me, because I still don't have a flipping weapon. Ah, I've found some friendlies. What are those things in there? Well, I don't know. You're the one that turned on the bloody beacon. Uh, we have to get out of here. Prowler, for more information. Okay, Prowler. Kills you in one hit, slow moving, weak, often hunts in packs. Right, so we're in a hardcore roguelike where a single hit will kill me, but they're slow moving. Gotcha. But they do sometimes have loot. Lovely. Um, can we distract them? Oh. Um, well, we might be able to, but uh, I'm just decided I'm going to leave instead. So, uh, I'm just going to go and... Ooh, picked up a sausage roll. la -dee da What does a sausage roll do? Can be thrown. Okay. Aim it, throw it, cancel, irresistible to enemies, reusable. And part of a crafting recipe. Right. So, potentially, what I can do is distract enemies by throwing a sausage roll. Gotcha. Oh, hang on. I didn't really mean to throw that there. No matter. Apparently, we've... Did you just pick up a... Oh, no, there's, a, there's, actually, there's actually a zombie. Right, I picked up the sausage roll again. I've decided I'm going to leave now. Um, I'm just going to leave them to... Ooh, more sausage rolls. Bloody convenient. Oh. Except apparently I can't get through here. Right. Um, By any chance to... No, I don't think they're going to be in a position to help me, actually. Still, on the plus side, I've now got, like, sandwiches and several sausage rolls. So everything's flipping good. It turns out that just about everyone has... 10 bajillion drops on them. Yeah, sausage roll and sandwiches are everywhere. Oh, but it's proper dark if you don't have your torch on. Right, I see the problem. Yes. Now, just cut through this way. Ah, oh, we just need to cut through the middle room to get out. Oh, dear. Right, so now the enemies are there, and I know they now kill me with one hit. So now I should probably... Yeah, I'm just going to follow the signs to the emergency exit. Yeah, a bite. No, no. I don't want to tag along with you. You just stay behind me, and if the zombies try and eat anyone, they can eat you instead. And also, I'm just looting some... Ah! 
door unlocked codes. That's probably quite bloody useful. And probably more sandwiches. And just keep on keep... Oh, bloody hell. Right, everything, everything's exploding. Still, I've got to the exit. Yep, unlock that as quick as you can. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Throw a sausage roll, throw a sausage roll, throw a sausage roll. Damn straight. And, oh, no, that's a mirror. Okay, I've just been jump scared by a light-hearted roguelike that uses generic Roger free stock music. Marvellous. Welcome to Basingstoke. <laughs> that's a good little intro. Right, so I'm not sure whether I've got the job or not. Probably not, to be honest. Though actually, there may not actually be a job anymore. That's probably the bigger problem. So, destination, the red... Why would we go to the red lion? Like, we're in Basingstoke. Just head south until you hit the M3 and get the M3 out of town. So the one good thing about Basingstoke, there's a motorway right there, so you can always bloody escape. Right, out we go. And, ooh, a police officer. Any chance there's a... No, but he had 56 pence in his pocket. That's nice. Does anyone want to have a weapon? Ooh, fat wallet. £2.73. Flares. What do flares do? Can be thrown and makes a bright light interesting to enemies. Okay, that's intriguing. And if I want to change over my things, how do I change over things? Ah, possibly I've lost my previous sausage rolls. They may not be persistent uh, across levels because I do not seem to have those anymore. Still, here we go. It's basic stoke. I've got a... Okay, how about torch off? Because it's possible they haven't actually... Yeah, do they know where I am? If my torch is off... Okay, they're slow. I'm not sure whether that guy's actually following me. Water bottle. Uh, can be thrown. Fine, that's just another throwable. Ah, that puts out fire, but can also be used to craft other things. So right now I've got nothing worth crafting. But potentially, I could do in future. Ah! Apparently I can... Ah! I can hop over things, and I'm guessing the zombies can't. Well, that's just bloody convenient. And go over here, and I've got the Red Lion pub key, which is in a bin. And that's probably very convenient. Right, anything else I need to do here? Uh, flare, quickly just loot these two guys, nothing on them. No, they're highlighted if there's anything interesting. So grab that, picked up some nails, that's probably good for highlighting. Grab any of that. A postcard, visit Sunny Basingstoke. Well, you know what, due credit to the Basingstoke Tourist Board, they've already got apocalypse-specific postcards out, so that is nice. Well done, Lance. And yeah, it looks to me like... Hang on, let's just actually check this. If I hop over here and... Oh, no, 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 hop over here. Yeah, they can't hop over that. Good, so I'm more mobile than them. And I'm just going to hope that the red line is this way. Because if it's not, I've just trapped myself in a corner. And oh, map updated. Oh, apparently I've got a map. No, that's sticky tape. Sh show me the map. Ah, lovely, good, there is a map. So my objective is right there. I'm going to guess that's the red line, and the red door is probably the locked one, but I've got the key, so that's all fine. There's also some recycling bins around here. Probably want to nip over there just to... Oh, hello. Are you up? No, you know, no, you were a zombie. You were a zombie. It's fine. Right, hop over here. Help myself to some loose change. Help myself to some more stuff over here as well. Small change. Hop over the... Hop over the top. Lovely. Skirt around you. Right, I like the fact they kill you in one hit, but they're slow and they can't jump and I can. That's... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang the flip on here. Water bottle. And... No. Uh, just need to put out the fires in order to get past. And that gets me to the red lion. Now, where's the front flipping door? And here we go. Unlock. Unlock faster. Unlock faster. There we go. I've made it to the red lion. Marvellous. Unfortunately, I suspect everyone's a bit dead in here as well. Still, job flipping done. Apparently, we're just slightly doing a bit of the Shaun of the Dead here. Lovely. And your inventory is now permanently added to the campsite stash. Select items from the stash to take with you. Ah, so now things that I'm carrying do actually get carried over. Lovely. I need at least one item in my backpack. Uh, okay. Hang on, what does the hairspray do? Um, I'm not sure. Probably it doesn't put out fires. It probably makes fires worse. And apparently my backpack can only hold four items, so I should probably not take any of this. Yeah, I'm going to take one flare, and that's going to be fine, just in case I need a bit of light. So, let's do a quick bit of looting. Next destination, the police station, but I'm going to need an access code for that. And all the people here have some useful stuff on them, so just quickly loot you bastards for money. Don't know what- aha! I suspect I've got a weapon! Good! So, I've got myself, yeah, just a random thing I can swing. It's not a projectile, 
it'll do the flipping job though. And unfortunately, the map's not that helpful because it doesn't actually tell me where I need to go next. Fine. So there's some weedy bins down south out the front door. But other than that, nothing too major. Though actually, looks like there's more here than I'm expecting. Yeah, there's stuff at the back. Instant coffee. So cannot be used directly. Ah, because it's just the granules, presumably. Part of three different crafting recipes. Probably coffee related, to be honest. And then, oh, flip. Flip, I've made a mistake. Right, what I probably want to do is fruit, uh, hold fire to aim, release to throw. Okay, now can I actually throw? And then, oh, one of you actually made it in. Right, well, just die, and then the die, 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 die. Ah, as it turns out, things break pretty quickly. I mean, potentially, can I just use this anyway? You're... Oh, they're not even dead. They're just asleep. Oh, that's not even that useful. I should probably actually... Right. I've, I've made mistakes. I've made, made made mistakes. Go, 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 go. No, finish looting this place first. Bye. Right. So they can't open doors, but if you open doors, they can totally follow you. And weapons totally flipping break. Also, that was my flare. And, and now, yes. Okay, so there's a pool cue, then there's a broken pool cue, and then the pool cue becomes completely unusable. So, now I'm just armed with fruit. So, this has not gone well in many ways. Now, what's out here? This is a bathroom. Any chance I could find a new weapon? A better weapon? Right, okay, time, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to turn off the torch. Right, parking ticket machine. That will probably give me... What does the parking meter do? Smashable. Smash it with a melee weapon. Or I can potentially, yeah, get loot and a crowbar would open it silently. Shoot it to break it, explosions work. We're getting ahead of ourselves here, game. I'm literally armed with an apple right now. Sandwich, fruit. Okay, this is fine. Because if I stay quiet, they don't see me. Okay. So the key might be just keep it quiet, keep the torch off, and figure out what's going on in the world like that. Okay, over to the map here, and that is, what is that, works going on over there, and a bunch of wheelie bins. Okay, so if I come up here, sneak up the left hand side, wheelie bin presumably means good, right? I mean, you know, the game's flagging them, like they're important, and aha! Wheelie bin equals hiding space. Gotcha. So... Wheelie bin is good place to hide. We've also got ourselves, yeah, works, whatever that means, and a couple of shops. Ah, shop. I could do with a shop. Let's just sneak our way past here. Yeah, the zombies seem, I just slightly set myself on fire there. The zombies seem to be a little bit on the not perceptive side. If I just walk around and, oh, oh, oh. Okay. They're a bit more perceptive than that. Now he's coming over here. And... Do you know where I am? No, you do not. Except now I've drawn your attention with a bit of fruit. And now... You were supposed to go for the fruit! Uh, right, okay. It's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just, just run between them. Run between them. Run between them. Boom! Right, distract them with the fruit. Hopefully they'll just eat the fruit, not me. Never mind, they wanted to eat me instead. Right, one vending machine. Sounds alarm of smash, can contain loot, crowbar open silently. Yeah, but what if I just want to, like, you know, just buy from it? Ah, good, I can. Right, instant coffee, all of this stuff. Insurance policy. Okay, what does that do? I don't know. Right, well, hang on. DIY. This seems like a much better sort of thing. Yes, one. I don't have quite enough for a shovel. Boo. I could have a metal pipe, but for two pounds, I'm guessing it doesn't actually do that much. Fine, I need to come back with a bit of money down the... I'm not going to come back with a bit of money down the line, I'm guessing. Right, run, run, run. There's just more nails. Come on, I just need some money. Give me some nice corpses. Uh, turn on the torch so I can actually loot more effectively. Ah, back alley. More flipping nails. Any chance of more stuff? Yeah, the torch is definitely useful. There's another... Another drinks machine. And another area here. Right. A building site postcard to visit Sunny Basingstoke. <laughs> like the postcards, they're cute. Right, where am I now? Ah, I've bypassed the... No, I didn't bypass the works. Right, okay. Keep on keeping on. There don't seem to be many zombies around here. Uh, one corpse I haven't looted here. 
That's a kebab. I'm guessing that's just another throwable. Yeah, works. Now, what's so good about works? The game is... Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to toss a... Yeah, fine. So they totally love the kebab. They love the kebab. And they're going to be distracted by it. Ah, okay, um... Yeah, works are... Police station access code! That's what I wanted. Fine, so I know where that is. And now I can... That's just... Uh-oh. 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 Am. Boom! Right, they're distracted by that for the time being. And just squeeze past all of you. Fine, so works don't seem to necessarily provide anything, but they are narrow choke points with many zombies in them. That might just be what works is. Works means bad. And also picked up another flare. And a keep left sign. Okay. Is that important? Smash it! Okay. Well, I'm still lacking in weapons, to be honest, and I still don't have the money to buy a new bloody shovel. And I finally got my destination up there. Fine. So, that'll be the police station, and I do have the access code. Now, there's parking over here. The question is, what does that actually mean? There's some more batteries. How do you craft again? Oh! I can make some coffee. Um, no! Call me crazy, but that that was weird. That was odd, right? There's, there's purple tentacle monsters. Gotcha. That's a thing to be aware of. And there's also, aha, I see things to loot. And, oh, money, money, and money. And also, sell ammo. Does that mean, like, energy cell, like energy weapons? Ah, there's the police station. Unfortunately, I've slightly upset a, a police officer there. Uh, right, what I need to do is... Uh, I need something that draws the attention. Would coffee do the job? I'm going to make some coffee. That's drinkable. Move ah, move faster. I'll tell you what, that's probably not the worst thing in the world. So now I've got the coffee. And now I'm going to drink the coffee. Large speed boost. Oh, you are not kidding. And now just basically screw the lot of you, 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 screw the lot of you. Oh, blimey heck, there's a lot of police officers though. Does anyone know where the throat cocking door is? It's it's over here, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. Hello, unlock, 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 unlock. And in we go, thanks to my speed boost. Boom. Okay, that was a good time for a coffee rush. Nice. Ah, but this is interesting. Because my campsite has changed, I can choose to carry forward some stuff, but not all of it. So yeah, things that are like light craft ingredients like the batteries and the nails just stay with me automatically. But I need to choose which of the... Apparently I've got a truncheon. Well, I totally want that. And I'll take a water bottle and a sandwich just for safety. That will flip and do. Now... Light on for now. Destination, the metro. Find a way underground. No, don't do that. Just just go for the M3. Now, I've got myself an actual police baton. Good. And I've also got a sandwich and a water bottle so I can distract some zombies. And also, yeah, ammo, lithium power cells. And nails times 30. So if I could just find a nail gun or like a taser or something, that'd be great. Problem is... Could be zombies behind any of these doors. But, aha! Okay, stun gun! Stun gun. Camera. And get out of the way. Bullet ammo. And, excuse me, you're, you're literally getting in the... Excuse me, you're, you're literally in the... You're... You're... Okay, fine. I guess we just don't get whatever's in that last one. Fine, whatever. Uh, so, at this point, I can change to stun gun. So I've got three shots in that. Okay, lovely. So I've got myself the taser I wanted. That's nice. And... Right. Zombie in there. Not great. Maybe what I should do instead is... Ah! Now I've got the trunch and the stun gun. Okay, so now I can flick between the two with right and left on the D-pad. So probably what we want to do is... Maybe actually not really... Actually, wait, hang on. Is there anything even in there? Hang on. Is there anything worth grabbing? No, there's nothing worth grabbing in there. So there's, there's no point. And then this room is... Yeah, that's the room I've already been in. And then we've got this room. And then this room and... Okay. Let's just actually give a go to the taser at this point. And boom! And now over to this. And he's... Ah! He's asleep. I need to find the holding cell key if I want to get into the holding cells. And this leads back into the main room. Alright, fine. So this is... Uh, this is a back exit, and I've also picked up some chilli sauce, which doesn't strike me as that useful, and a tiny bit of change. 
probably lights off for the time being because the zombies over there. Small bit of change. Fine. Finish exploring the rest of the station. I need to find that key potentially. I think there's more. Is there any more this way? No. No, there's. Ah! Well, there's something in here. Right, hang on. Search you. Holding cell key. Nice, that's what I wanted to see. Right, uh, let's hope that guy I battered still down. Uh, wait, hang on. He was this way, right? No, he was not. And then boom. Down you go. And then unlock by just walking into it and facing it. That gets opened up. What does that get me? GPS goggles. What are GPS goggles exactly? Wearable goggles, so tap LT to wear or remove, shows the route to the destination but requires a battery. Okay. I'm not sure I've actually got goggles right now. Destination underground. Uh, so, aha! I do. And it's fully charged. Ah, but it's, um, yeah, will slowly over time wear down. But it shows me which way I need to go. Nice. Let's actually go over to the... Yeah. Oh, hang on. No. Apparently there's already... Okay, well, that's kind of useless because I can already literally just look at that on my map. Fine. Well, I've explored the police station, but bear in mind, right now I'm just knocking the zombies unconscious. <laughs> I'm not even flipping, actually. Uh, yeah, successfully uh, managing to uh, kill them. Right. Torch probably off. Let's get out of here for the time being. Stay subtle. And yeah, the camera zooms pretty close in on you normally. So it's hard to tell when the zombie's about. So actually, it's Ah, the camera zooms out slightly when you've got the torch to represent better visibility. That's cute. Uh-oh. Okay. Zombies over there. That, that's fine. Okay, fine. The zombies know I'm here. Just keep referring to the map because the map tells you where there's you know, useful stuff and whatever. Tentacle! Tell me about the tentacle. Can't move. Tough. Weak to fire. Sometimes has loot. Right, well, that's all interesting. So, there's a wheelie bin here and a couple of keep left things that I can... Ah! Keep left things that I can apparently uh, smash. So, I'm just going to smash that. And then... Okay. I feel like I shouldn't have smashed that, in fact. Despite what the game just said. And there's my death. The game specifically said they may contain loot. Boo. Also, the levels do seem to be somewhat randomised, because those four lockers are not present anymore. They are most certainly not. And now I get a different set of small change I didn't find last time and all the rest of it. So, okay. It's not just the loot that's randomised, it's the- Ah, blimey hell. Right, okay. Let's just get to grips with- Oh, there's a, there's a lot more. There's a lot more enemies here than last time. Right, so enemy placement is also a bit randomised. I need to go to the- Oh, bloody hell, I'm trapped against the thing. Luckily, you get a moment's grace while they're winding up their attacks. Right. Uh, light on. Let's go figure out where we're... What the heck is that? I probably don't even want to know, you know. Uh, right, I'm going to go over to some fruit. Just in case. Bottle water. There's... Right, lots of enemies. Lots of flipping enemies here. Lots of this... Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I feel like I might be trapped in a corner back here. Jump, jump over the top, jump over the... Or don't jump over the top, whatever. Right, that feels like a dead end. Albeit a good source of dynamite, potentially. In fact, the entire police station is being redrawn every time I restart, because this interrogation room was not there last time. But yeah, if you keep the torch off, actually, you can actually sneak around zombies. Hang on, let's test this. Oh yeah, zombies are totally not going to notice anything behind them if you just keep the torch off. Now that is of interest, isn't it? Oh, that's that's a bad room, though. Yeah, that's That turns out to be a bad room. I'm going to avoid that room. So basically, you need to figure out where all the zombies are and be, like, not there. So if I just completely go under that... No, no, they're not that stupid. Fine, they do kind of detect some stuff. So, truncheon but no stun gum. Let's just quietly move around with the torch off. In fact, hang on. In this map, how do I... Ah, there's a brief bit of a gap there. Okay. Now, be slow, be calm, take it easy, keep referring to the map, because the map shows you what's going on. Looks to me like there's a nice little recycle bin over here that I could use. Yeah, nice little recycle bin. And this also leads to a side area. No loot in it, however. Okay, but side way out here. Okay, just start learning the area. Keep the torch off. 
avoid trouble, avoid zombies, avoid, avoid whatever's making that growling noise. Okay, head up this way, I can see zombies over there, back away, that's quite a few zombies. Now just make a run for it before you actually draw their attention, this is the way to do it. Alright, calm and quiet. So we've got the bin here, and actually, I can cut through, okay, I can't cut through there. Where are the zombies? There's a zombie around here, but bear in mind there's also the bin I can hide in if need be. Looks quiet for the time being. Yep, head up this way. Now this leads to a bit of a dead end. But if I just loop a little bit around... Oh, oh, oh that's fine. It's fine. When I say it's fine, it's not fine. Right, he just takes a quick batter because he runs straight at me. Okay, now, okay, watch out. Watch, watch out. Do you know where I am? I don't know if you know where I am. Right, okay, hang on. There's a building here. This is probably not a bad idea to just get inside, because that will mean they lose me. Right, inside a building, I feel happier with the lights on. At least, ooh, yeah. Oh, I found the coffee factory. There's also a lighter. Okay, can't be used directly, part of some crafting recipes. All right. And I got nails, and I got water bottles, and I got hairspray, and sticky tape, and petrol. And chilli sauce and scrap. Right, well, I'm going to guess I can do some crafting now. Because I have just found all of the stuff in the world. Marvellous. Right, lights off. Let's have a look at the crafting menu. An extra hot sandwich. A Molotov. Okay, that's more interesting. A spiked sandwich. Ah, okay. Or coffee. Don't make anything just yet. Because, hang on, there's also some more stuff out here. That is just some more sticky tape. Now, have a little looks in here. We've also got ourselves, yeah, a few more rooms dotted around here. Except this is, that doesn't open. Fine, well, there's totally some doors around here. More stuff. And this is the, ah, that is the exit that only opens from one direction over there. Fine. So even more stuff. And I think there's another, another room here. And once again, nothing. Fine. So this here, excellent spot to be. Glad I came into this building. Oh, actually, how do I get into the control room? Does that do anything? No, tragically it does not. Fine. Good storeroom. Now, I'd like to sneak out the back way, except for one small problem, which is it looks like I... Ah! I 100% can. Right, so this here has been an excellent little cut through. Now, torch off, because I'm back outside. Okay, now I'm getting into the hang of things. Now I'm getting into it. Just keep referring to the map, so... There's nothing up here, this is a dead end, but there might be just a handful of loot. And bear in mind, if you stay slow, you're not producing sound waves. And then there's... Okay, there's some angry stuff, that's fine. And this is now back to the road. Now bear in mind, I need to be going in this direction. So... Play it slow. Play it slow. That wasn't that slow, was it? Okay, up here. Now what's over here? This is just a dead end. Not a terrible place to hide, but otherwise not that useful. Anything else? There's another one on the other side, but honestly, doesn't look that interesting. And electricity. Roundabouts! Woo! England! Roundabouts! Yeah. Right, okay. We got ourselves a roundabout and a wheelie bin over there. So if I need to... Ah! Watch out for the electricity. And there's... Okay. Stay behind him. He won't realise what's going on. Yep, nice. So, one round about there. One big no entry. Now, how seriously do you expect me to take the no entry? No, don't jump over things. Don't jump over things. How seriously are you expecting me to take that quite seriously? Right, there's the little laddie. The little kind of fast jackrabbit lad. And then there's... Oh! Just finish him off and boom! Right, finish him off. Right, okay. Uh, what's going on here? I need to perfect well get through here. Okay, get through here. Yeah, fine. And boom, whatever. Okay, now I've just made a little bit of... Oh, I'm in a shopping centre. And I've just made a bit of noise. Uh, what I probably want to do, therefore, is... Oh, there's too many in here. There's way too many in here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Jump over the top and then go for the door here. Okay. 
That's fine. I don't want to try and clear out the main floor. I'll just work around it. <sighs> All right. Through that. No, no, no. Whoa. Okay, he's going to get back up again in a second. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. These lockers don't contain anything. Okay, got something. Got myself a safe, which apparently I can... No, I can't just hack. Sadly, I don't have that skill. Okay. One safe. Need an access code. Well, it's going to be somewhere in here, but I can probably do without it. Okay. What I need to do is go back into the supermarket and then make a break for that exit in the northwest. And... Okay, round here, round here, round here, round here, and out. And... Where am I now? Okay, another room. Little fast, annoying, yappy lads. Get away from them. Get around here. And be aware of possibility of... Ah! No, 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 no. Small change. And hang on, there's there's another room back here. Uh, oh, no, there's nothing in there. Fine, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay. Now I just need to get round to... This side and get out and let the door close. Door closed in his face, just. All right, now we've got recycling bins. We're so close. We're so close to the end of the level now. Okay. Okay. Keep it ready for... Oh, okay. I can potentially just basically work away from you. What was that noise? I don't like that noise. Right, okay, I'm going to... Right. Bloody security lights. Now the police officer is over there. Be aware, security lights will draw attention to you. Uh, I can get some stuff off this and another off you. Okay. Now, there's going to be a police officer there who's probably going to... The security light's going to draw attention to me, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm kind of lacking in options. Okay, I could hide in there if need be. Right, fall back to that high position if need be. Keep the torch off. And now, yeah, now I've bypassed the no entry. So that gets me to a little adorable police van, which contains a camera. And bear in mind, I can fall back if need be. Don't try and run past. And don't attack that bastard! Right, we're getting close now. We're getting flipping close uh, around here. Into this. No, that's uh, that's one way only. Where's the other way into that building? It's up the side here. And there's a tentacle! Tentacle, 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 tentacle! Uh-oh. You're a zombie. Yeah, right, you can just go down nice and quick. Uh, right, where am I right now? I'm in a little building here, but I can bypass a bunch of stuff. Okay, just go through here. And I think there was another there was another door here, right? No, that was just the back entrance, fine. Uh, so get through around here, go into here. Nothing there either, fine. This is just a bit of a nothing room, right? Bypass you, and straight out the back. Unless, of course, I'd like to use the machine... What's an insurance? Is that save, actually? Is that a save? Save game! Nice. Yes, I will be having that. So, I have saved the game. So, yes, saves cost £20 of in-game money a go. Which is uh, not nothing. And also, hairspray, what does that do exactly? Because it's listed as one of my weapons. Does it? Hang on, I'm going to test it on you. Hello! Ah! Okay, it's just a kind of um, a thing that gets in their eyes and upsets them. Okay. Right, so. Past here. Keep having the loop, see? Seems quiet right now. Keep it calm. Keep it slow. Now. Something else over here. No, that's no entry. Hop over. And we got ourselves. Wait, how do we get into that building if there's no... That's of interest. This is marked as no entry, but I might be able to... Ah! There's a blown out wall. Fine. Uh, anything actually in here? No, nothing actually in here. Just potentially a bit of a place to hide. Uh, so in which case, this is a no entry spot. So I need to go around the other side. Okay. Around to... Ah! Ignore you. Right. Around here. And... Ah! I have found myself the Basing Stoke Underground. Except... Watch out for that little bastard. Hide. Okay, they lose you pretty easily, though. There you go. Are they like little zombie yappy dogs or something? Something like that. And over the top. Yeah, you need a tiny bit of a run-up to actually use that thing. Or I can bypass that area and just loop around here. Which does strike me as the better idea right there. Uh, so we've got ourselves... Ooh. Avoid you. Avoid... 
Avoid you. Where's the entrance I want to the underground? Because I see well, I see an entrance here. I'm actually just going over, over here. Oh, oh, oh! Well, I'm glad I got a save file down, really. Right, I'm going to be needing a key to get in there. Gotcha. And potentially something to take care of the bloody tentacle. I'm going to assume I just pushed the wrong button, so now I'm back here at the beginning, but that's fine because now I know how the game works a lot better. I should be able to get forward to where I need to go a lot flipping faster. Because yeah, the end destination's the same, but the level is definitely being randomly generated each time. So that's fine, now I know what I'm doing here, just move along the streets with the torch out, give the zombies a wide berth, and then just keep an eye on what's appearing where. That's totally going to be a tentacle, so don't go that way. Instead, loop round the outside of the roundabouts. And this brings me to... Alarmed. Right, we got ourselves a new thing here. An alarmed building. But we got ourselves... A building round here. I'm gonna... Oh, apparently I could have just jumped in through the window. Lardy flipping da. And also, wasn't there a... Wasn't there a door here? Yeah, there was a door round here. Careful. And uh, as it turns out, poison and scrap. Lardy flipping da. And also, a laser control code. I don't know what that is exactly, but it sounds kind of badass. Now, I'm going to guess the alarm might be a laser alarm grid. If it is, uh, this might be very, very useful indeed. Right, okay. Through here, check these bastards just in case. Nope, nothing major. Now through here. This area is marked as alarmed. Now, this area is marked as... Right, well, you're just going to have to die then. Uh, if this area is marked as alarmed, be careful. And then, yeah, why is this... Ah, it's possibly the, the door that's alarmed. Got it. So maybe just don't go through that and boom. Now I've got myself a switch here. And unlock this. Is this, a, is this a safe, though? This is a safe, right? No, no, stop paying attention to the zombie. Right, maybe just leave him alone. That's totally a safe. So there's nothing we can do with that anyway. Right, hide in the toilets for a second. We've got ourselves... Hang on, there's there's too many symbols in the way, and I don't know how to potentially... There's, there's no way to... Oh, no, good, I can turn them off. Right, so if I cut through that room... Yeah, knock that guy down, cut through that room, I get to a locked door. But I'm going to guess maybe my actual little useful code might be able to do something with. Right, knock you down. There was another hole right here. Okay. Ah, ah, uh oh, okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. All I need to do is activate with the laser. I've got the laser codes. I've got the find the door unlock code. Okay, I feel like this is going to draw a bit of attention. Actually, this is going to definitely draw attention. Right, where's where's the thing to turn this off? Because I, I literally have the ability to turn off the laser grid. Oh, this is not good in a zombie apocalypse. Here we are, laser suspended. Unfortunately, that doesn't actually turn off an alarm that's already been turned on. And I don't actually... Well, this is just unfortunate, really. This is totally going to have drawn a lot of attention, isn't it? And we also need to find a door unlock code for this. Fine. So I've got to this area that's full of control panels and keys and all sorts of business. But I actually can't use any of it, unfortunately. Also, I'm hearing a lot of screaming and roaring right now. Which I'm going to suggest involves... Yeah. Yeah, as it, as it turns out, the zombies, they, they heard the noise and they're, they're not thrilled. I'm not thrilled about it. Hang on, just just grab everything. Grab grab all the things. Now just now. Okay. So 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 there's there's a lot of. Okay. Just this this area is a bust basically. This whole area is a bust. Let's just go. Though on the plus side, maybe this has actually drawn some attention away from the rest of the level over to there. If I'm very lucky. Right. So we ignore that area. We pretend that didn't happen. That's all absolutely fine. And I've also got all the codes I need for that now, so I could craft some stuff. Bottle of poison. Okay, interesting. Or a poison sandwich, so potentially I can actually make the zombies either die or sick or something. Okay, let's just work up the... Oh, good, it's another alarmed building. I've been enjoying them. Go on, then. Let's give it a flipping go. So, careful, careful... Careful, yeah, I see the alarms. Yeah, this is an alarmed building. And boom, you can just go down for a second. 
Uh, where are the lasers? Where are the lasers and where am I right now? Let's just go through here and uh, there's an eat thing. That's a good eat thing. I could buy an insurance policy. <laughs> you know what? Why not? I'm going to buy an insurance policy. Yay! And this time I'm not going to accidentally fail to actually use it. Oh, actually, what's this? Hello? I found something. Need to find the laser control code. Fine, needs a different laser control code. Yep, there's the lasers, by the way. Okay. So, hang on, where's the... Where are the lasers? The lasers are just going to swing backwards and forwards. Yeah, I see you there. And over here. Right. What I could do is just simply say, screw it. Just kind of leave the lasers and just hide appropriately. Lasers... Never mind, it's fine. 100% okay. I'll just basically help myself to... It, it's nearly okay. There's, there's only one guy in here. It's okay. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe we just leave. Yeah, that's a metal pipe and that's a secure door lock remote something. Right, let's just go and hide in a back room for a bit. I think there's some back rooms back here. It, it's, it's okay. I'll just kind of finish looting the place first. Yeah, I think the zombies have noticed the alarm. How about I go out the back way? Because then that, that's probably for the better, isn't it? Where's the back way? Right, there is no back way. Good. This just gets better and better. I think there might be a back way. Can I jump through these windows? Yes, I can. And screw you. Right, okay. Now I've managed to escape out the... Is there actually any proper back way out of the back way? Because I can't help but notice it feels like I might need to... Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not convinced there's actually a back way. I think I need to go straight back through the now alarm blaring area. Right, have I got any coffee? I've got... No, I've got no coffee. But I could make some darts for some reason. Um, that might not be the worst thing in the world, though I feel like I don't need it. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to have to try and sneak out the front way, which I might be able to do by just basically going through. Ah! Not the... Uh-oh. Yeah, this is this is where this all goes wrong. No! 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 Okay, push... There we go. Push him out the way. Push him out the way. Push him out the... No! 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 And then... Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, now take out the little dogs. Take out the little dogs. You! Oh my goodness, I think I might have actually got away with it. I might have actually just got away with that. <laughs> I'm going to use my insurance policy now, and then probably forget to activate it later. Right, game saved. Now remember I've done that, and don't accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh. Oh, I've lost my bat on, unfortunately. Right, okay. Time to probably get the... You know what? It's good enough for the time being. It's just a warning that it's going to break soon. Okay, made it to a roundabout. <laughs> This is all fine. Everything's under control. I uh, just need to keep cracking on, really. And it looks like I need to actually head around to the left. Need to watch out for the electricity there, though. And take you out, you stupid bastard. Oh, that drew a lot of attention, though. Right, okay. I need to cut for another supermarket. And then need to cut for another... Can I jump through the window? How about this window? That was a bad window to jump... This was a terrible place to jump through... Balls. Now, hang on. Let's try this again. Okay, what I want to do is I want to try again. So, are you now going to let me actually go back to my save point? Because if so, what did I click last time? Okay, yes. Yes, I actually can. Uh, except, small problem. Slight, slight, slight problem. Uh, now I've got... Okay, maybe the torch just needs to go off. Ooh, actually, that's... Yeah, that's actually redone all the enemies. So the enemies have been slightly redrawn at this point, And I've lost my previous map. And... Uh, I do still have... I just have my uh, other equipment, though. I just have the old equipment. Fine. So I know what I need to do at this point. I need to cut left through a... No! I was holding dynamite that I had no way of lighting because the truncheon broke. Oops. You know, it's moments like this that make me very glad that I actually decided to, uh, you know, put down a save point right there. That makes me very glad indeed. Right, I'm just going to make a run for it. Make a flippin' run for it. Just get round here. Yeah, now just jump over there. Cut around the outside of the electricity. And what I need to do now is just basically to get inside the flipping uh, supermarket as fast as possible. So the supermarket's over here. Yeah, now I can just hide in the middle between the two stages. Now I just need to get in here... And then I need to make a run for the top right. Because there's a door over 
there, and then I just need to turn. Uh, jump! No, jump over the top! Why are you not jumping over the top at this point? Oh, it's. I think when you get stuck on people, they're very, very bad at actually, like you know. Oh dear. Oh, this this isn't looking good. Uh, right. Well, there's there's technically an exit over here I could utilize if I don't get punched. Right. This is fine. We're going to speed run this. Okay. Back to the supermarket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sandwich ready. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a sandwich ready. I'm going to throw the sandwich right there. And that's going to draw all of the zombies' attention over to there. That's all going to be, aside from that guy, but I think most people's attention was drawn over there. That lets me get out to here. Close the door. Now I've made it through to here. Right, now make it over to... Oh, oh, oh. Go over to the splintered ward and... No, no, no. Okay. At this point, my splintered wood is probably getting a little bit on the damage side. Is there anything in here? There's... Oh, yeah, there's there's something in here. Right, I should probably just get out of here, to be honest. Right, okay. Just, just keep on moving on. Probably go straight out the back and then hide in the bin. Hide in the bin for a bit. Is everything calm? Everything's fine. No, that... You see? See, I'm under control. This is all okay. Aside from that guy down there. But that guy, I can just get around the back of and knock him out of the fact, actually, I don't even need to. I can just basically get around the back over here. Right, okay. But there's no way out over this way, fine, so I have to go back to the main road. Uh, so he's going to need to be knocked out, potentially, around here. And there we go. You go down there, zombie dog. And you're going to need to go down too. But that makes a fair bit of noise. And then just go around here. Picked up a camera. And now start heading north. We're heading in the right direction. We're getting close. And also there's a there's a terrifying flashing thing which I don't really like the look of. But never mind. Need a light to use. Why am I going over to... Why would I... Oh. The problem I've got is... Ah! The camera! A flash! I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, that's very, very useful indeed. Right, if anything comes close to me, then just flash them. Also, I've got a kebab. That's probably useful too. Anything gets too close, it gets flashed. Lovely. Round this way, we've just bypassed a whole bunch of zombies. And now keep doing precisely what I'm doing. In fact, this area seems pretty quiet at the minute. There's one shop over here. That's probably a... Yeah, that's a back entrance over there. Oh! Stay away from that. Okay. If I can go the other way... Ah! Right, so that's going to be the locked up key area, right? Yeah, I'm going to need a key for that. So we're back to where we were. Just stay alert and be aware that somewhere there's going to be a key. This building's all locked up, nothing there. Right, loop around the other side. And that's nothing. There is something being marked over here. Hello. Yeah, these buildings are being marked as black with no entrances. So I don't think I'm getting in there. So in which case, where do I get the key? Well, there's a... That's just poison. And there's a guy around the other side. Uh, but I'm going to need some water to access uh, him. Throw the water. Take out the fire. And that just gets me... That gets me 42 pence. Wasn't exactly a great deal. Hmm... How am I going to get in? Well, I'm going to blatantly need, yeah, I'm going to need a key. And it's not this side. That means it's going to be the other side. And if it's the other side, that could be a concern. Okay, what can I make that's a weapon? I can make some darts. Okay, can be thrown. And it hurts weak enemies and doesn't attract attention. Yeah, go on then. And I can turn them into trank darts. All right. So that puts an enemy to sleep, doesn't attract attention. Lovely. But for the moment at least, stick with the camera, which I'm going to assume is a distraction weapon. And yeah, there's Basing Stoke Station. Now stay away from you. Right, we need to go back around the other side and find ourselves a key. There needs to be a key to get inside Basing Stoke Station. Well, unless there's an easy access over here. Hang on, there's. Basing Stoke Station is bound to have a. Uh, uh, yeah, it needs a key. Fine, 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 fine. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Right, needs a key. Key, obviously, is going to be around in this direction. Now, slight, slight concern. I've just drawn a bit of attention there. And then we've got... Okay, would you guys just naff off or what? Actually, you know what? Try, the, try out this weapon. And that just... Yeah, it is indeed a flash. 
Okay. Well, actually, now I've drawn you over here. Is there any chance now I can get a better look at... Yeah, it's it's 100% a key. There's definitely no one who's actually got the key on their person is there. By any chance, there wasn't like, you know, a, a local worker floating around here was there. Any, any flipping chance? No, that would have been hoping for a bit too much. Right, just actually stagger you. Okay. Get around over here and... Ah! Nope. And then that was not the right way to go. Not the right way to go. Not the right way to go. Keep taking photos of all of them. Right, in here. Um... I really hope this is the right thing, by the way. Because if it's not, then I've just trapped myself inside this building. And that, that could be a problem. Uh, right, distract you for a second and then... Ah! No, no! Balls. So it turns out that was not where the key was. But ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. That there is basic stoke, and I've been very pleasantly surprised, actually. I was expecting just something a bit light and fluffy, but no, actually, it works pretty well as a stealth game. It works pretty well as an action game. It works pretty well as a roguelike, and everything works together pretty nicely. In fact, what I wasn't expecting is it's surprisingly tense. And having to deal with the torch being on or off and going over to the map to try and navigate. Yeah, there's actually some good stuff I really like there. This has actually impressed me quite a bit. So take that as a recommendation if you will. Link in the description below. Maybe we'll see this again. I don't know. It does strike me as a potential live stream candidate. So we'll see about that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Basic Stoke. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.